Hello YouTube, it's Rob the Tech was here and welcome to the first video in my Tech Tuesday weekly video series. This time I'm going to be showing you guys how to stream your gameplay to Twitch TV using only the Elgato Game Capture HD and the software that is included with it. Um, so you need to have at least version 1.2, so if you're using it already and don't have that version, uh, go into the software, click on this eye, and choose click for, check for updates. And that will let you know whether or not you have the latest version. Like I said, you need at least version 1.2 to get the live streaming feature. If you don't have the software at all, um, just go to the Game Capture HD web or Game Capture website. That's just GameCapture.com, uh, and click on the download link and choose your operating system to download uh, the appropriate version. And like I said again, you need version at least 1.2. Okay, so once you have the appropriate software, you can start setting up your stream. Okay, so we'll the first thing here, the game audio, um, you shouldn't have to do anything with this. It's just going to capture it using the Elgato and play it at which, at, an, at an appropriate rate. If you want it to be louder or quieter, you can change the decibel level uh, with this knob here. Um, but leaving it at the default of zero um, works just fine. Okay, now to the next section, which is live commentary. If you have a microphone and you want to include live commentary during the stream, uh, just plug it in and click on the microphone icon to start capturing the audio, and it will play it alongside the game sounds. Uh, there's also an option if you go that route to automatically reduce the game sound um, when, you, when the microphone picks up your voice um, to emphasize your voice over the game audio, um, if that's something you're interested in. Um, in the settings here, uh, you can change some things. The threshold is the volume at which it needs to detect your voice to be able to, to reduce the game sound, and the attenuation is the amount by which the game sound is reduced. So the default is 12, um, which works just fine, uh, but if you get some feedback during your live streams and you want to reduce it more, just increase it, or reduce the game sound less, you can decrease it a little bit. But I like using the defaults. I've gotten good feedback. It works just fine. Okay, now to actually link your Twitch TV account to begin live streaming, um, just right here, click on this Add Account icon, and it will link you to the Twitch TV login. So go ahead and enter your username whoops, and password. And then right here, you'll see your channel name on Twitch TV. Okay, the next part is setting up your server. Um, it's usually best to just choose the server that's closest to you um, geographically, um, but you need to choose the one that has the lowest latency, which, which as I said, is usually the one that's closest to you. Um, like I'm in central Pennsylvania, so these two here in Virginia um, would work well for me. Um, so you need to look at these numbers here in parentheses. That's that's the latency, and just choose the server that has the lowest one. That's going to give you the best connection. So I'll choose that one. Okay, so once you've chosen your server, the next thing is to change your status message. This is the title that's going to be displayed on your Twitch TV channel during your stream. So if you just click on this Twitch icon right here, it will take you right to your channel page. Um, and this status message is what's displayed right up here. If you want to change it um, now or during your stream, all you need to do is put whatever you're going to change it to and click on this up icon and that's what updates it on Twitch so if you refresh your page you'll see that it's been updated accordingly okay the next thing uh, is adjusting uh, the bandwidth by which you stream to Twitch um, using this bitrate slider here um, it's best to just choose whichever your maximum upload upload speed is with your internet service provider. If you have no idea what that is, you can go to a website called speedtest.net, uh, run a test and it will tell you your maximum upload speed um, and it's best just to do just to choose that um, in the software to get the best quality. Um, it also tells you in parentheses the resolution at which um, will be displayed using that that uh, bandwidth. Um, so with one I'll get 480p but if you want to stream in 720p um, you need to, to click the settings here and change your maximum resolution to 720 and you should probably stream a little closer to 2 megabits per second um, to be able to get a decent quality 720p stream. Um, but since my upload speed isn't very good, I'll just leave it at 480. And the last thing you need to set up for the stream is the game here. Um, you need to spell this exactly like Twitch spells it. Uh, like if you go to the Twitch 
home page here's a list of the most popular games um, and as you can see I have Call of Duty Black Ops 2 spelled exactly the same way uh, like if I were to instead of use, using Roman numerals 2 I use the number 2 I would not be listed as someone who's streaming when um, someone comes to Twitch TV and clicks on the Black Ops 2 game um, because um, it's not spelled the same, so it's important that you spell it exactly like, Qu like Twitch does on their website. So that's all you need to set up for the stream. Um, but something else that I would do before you start streaming is to mute um, Elgato mute. right here. Um, otherwise, you're going to get feedback uh, in your stream. Uh, and it's really distracting. And also mute um, the video player on your Twitch channel page. Otherwise, you're going to hear yourself and the game. Um, while you're trying to play the game, which is super distracting, and the people watching your stream will also hear it, and they get pretty annoyed with it. Um, so once you do that, the, well, the final thing to do is click on this Start Streaming button right here in the Elgato software, and that's what's actually going to start the stream to Twitch. Um, if your first time uh, a Windows error message might error message, sorry, might come up if you're using Windows, not Mac. Um, just click allow access um, and you should be fine. I don't, it shouldn't do it any other time after that. So after the first time, you should be okay. So as you can see, um, I'm streaming. Here's my Twitch channel and here's my stream. Um, so it works pretty well. And if I unmute so this, you it can works hear, pretty well. And if I unmute this, you can hear me actually streaming and me commentating over it. So once you're all finished, um, to stop the stream, all you have to do is click on this button again, and it will stop the stream, and the on-air indicator will go away, and it will stop the stream to Twitch. So if I refresh the page, you'll see that I am no longer streaming. Okay, so that just about wraps up the video. If you've had any pro if you have any problems while you're trying to set all this up, just let me know in the comments or uh, in the description. I'll provide links to my Facebook page and my Twitter account, also to my Twitch TV live stream channel. So if you have any problems, you can contact me through any of those, uh, and I'll try to get back to you and help you out. Um, if you found the video helpful, I would definitely appreciate a like rating. And thanks for watching. Bye.